Yo, what's going on everybody? Uh, my name is Malcolm and I'm a photographer and I'm here to talk to you about a camera that I absolutely love and it's a camera that I built. Essentially, it's a digital camera uh, in a film body. So we've all heard these stories about people that convert film cameras to digital. This is just my take on how I did it. This is essentially a Yashica Electro 35, uh, 35 millimeter film camera that I converted to digital, essentially. So if you take a look at the back, uh, there's a touch screen. Uh, you can see me on the screen right here. And then if we take off the lens, obviously this is not going to be um, a film camera underneath here. You're going to have a little tiny digital sensor. So I want to give you a quick walkthrough of what this camera is, how I built it. I'm not going to put a detailed tutorial yet. That'll be for a separate video. I just want to give people kind of a preview of what I built here. So I essentially took inspiration for this camera uh, from the Becca cam. I'm going to link it in uh, the description below of the original inspiration for this. But essentially the story is I had COVID. I had a broken camera lying around in a Raspberry Pi and I decided to make something out of it. So inside of this camera body, I essentially gutted everything, all the internals, and I just left the shell. Inside here is a Raspberry Pi Zero powered by the Raspberry Pi HQ camera uh, for the camera sensor things that I put on here just to give you a quick walkthrough there's a USB port that you can use to store pictures um, that you take on here there's obviously a little button here for the trigger I have a 3d printed grip on here I have a back button right here so you can zoom in so essentially this is all manual focus so uh, and I couldn't get focus peaking on this camera so uh, let's say I get a bit closer here when I press this zoom button, it's going to zoom in to allow me to nail focus. Then I can take the picture, writes the picture, and then saves it to the USB. Um, other pieces on here, it's rechargeable battery. So super easy to get these batteries. These are just these little batteries that you can get for vapes. Uh, forgot the exact name for it, but it lasts about an hour uh, on a charge. Uh, underneath here is where you put the battery, essentially. Um, I set up the code essentially to um, work in aperture priority since these are all manual lenses. So I'm just going to give you a quick walkthrough of the different lenses that I use for this camera. This one on here is a C mount. So a lot of vintage CCTV lenses are C mount lenses. So they work uh, on this camera with a C mount on here. So I won't go into detail on the sensor. There's a lot of information on the Raspberry Pi sensor. but that's what I'm using on here. Uh, so this is an eight millimeter uh, f 1.3, really great for street photography. Another lens that I use, that's a C mount, is another CCTV lens that I got off of eBay. Uh, this is just a twenty, is it twenty five millimeter f 1.8, uh, super cheap off of eBay. Nothing special about it. Uh, what I did to give it some more character is that I put a diffusion lens on it. And then I got a wide angle converter uh, for an Instamatic film camera. And then I attached it to uh, the lens to give me another little mini lens for my camera. Another lens that you could use are D mount lenses from eight millimeter film cameras. Uh, so this is a 6.5 Sanko F 1.4. So you just essentially have the adapter, uh, D mount to C mount adapter, and you throw it on the camera. It gives it a really soft, dreamy feel. Uh, dreamy feel to it. Uh, don't expect anything super high resolution out of it. Uh, it's meant to be really dreamy. So when I throw it on here, uh, that's what the little lens uh, looks like. Uh, I really enjoy using this lens. So even just to give you a quick preview, like if I turn this around, um, super, super dreamy looking. Um, and then finally, my really favorite thing to do on this lens is to I uh, use 35 millimeter lenses. So uh, this is a Helios, the famous Helios uh, lens. Obviously it's an M42 mount meant for a 35 millimeter camera. Um, if you look at the focal plane or the, you know, the image it projects onto the, onto the camera sensor, it's much bigger than what the sensor can take. The sensor is super tiny. So it has a five and a half times crop factor. So to get, to get around that, to get a decent focal length, I built my own little focal reducer, also known as a speed booster to anybody out there that likes that term. Uh, essentially, this is uh, a teleconverter. It's a times 0.7 uh, teleconverter. 
used by telescopes essentially. Um, so I took this because it was in the C-mount and then I got a C-mount to M42 adapter that I 3D printed, drilled a hole through the adapter, uh, glued it on to the mount and then I can now mount this to my lens. And then I can now mount it to my camera. So um, this allows me now to use 35 millimeter uh, lenses on here with a decent uh, focal length as well. So this is a really other cool hack that I put together for this camera. So uh, without further ado, I wanna show you some pictures. Don't have high expectations. Uh, this is a really uh, small sensor, but you can get some really cool images if you want a more artistic, gritty, uh, feel to your pictures. It's obviously not going to compete with any uh, fancy camera out there, but it's a lot of fun. Had a lot of fun building this and um, hope you enjoy these pictures. And full caveat to the pictures, yes, these are edited a little bit, but not too much. Um, but it has a lot of potential, so uh, I'll let you be the judge. Let me know what you think in the comments. This is my first YouTube video, so be kind. I have more to come. I'll give a full tutorial on how I built this camera in the near future. So once again, my name is Malcolm. Thank you for your time. And these are the pictures.